So this is uh, the, the culminating moment of the Rice Rangers project. We spend uh, about a month or so in school watching some plants grow. We learn about um, all kinds of issues with the watershed and why these plants help out um, our watershed. And then here we are today planting them in the actual Anacostia River that we've been studying. We realize that we need to recycle more. So let's make something visible to show people this is how you recycle. Our stream bank fencing is not a bad thing. We're not keeping cows out and away from water. We're keeping the cows out to keep their nutrient waste from getting into our waterway. So educating the kids so that they can promote and tell other people this, this is what's important. This is, this is my goal, to make them stewards so when they hear conversations, now they can be part of it. A lot of times after we've gone out, I've heard them say they have gone to an area in the park where they didn't go before, <laughs> now they went with their parents, or that they have talked to neighbors about the importance of recycling, or they have mentioned some of the rain gardens and how it works. I mean, you can't beat this as, as a visceral, hands-on experience. Uh, they, they remember getting muddy, they remember getting wet, um, but uh, I, I hope also they remember why we're doing this, uh, which is to help out this river. Uh, and I think it's, it's the best way to help these kids identify with what we call their watershed address. We have them do this presentation every year and they can give suggestions, explain historical significance of the James Wood property next door at the museum. And we've done that for years. There just hadn't been the thing they were working up to. It was always hypothetical. So for this year, I really wanted to push with Dale the idea that we needed to do something that was going to be real and lasting for the kids. And they could look back fondly on it and be like, we designed this, we built this, this is ours. And it needed, to, it needed to come to an end that was rewarding for them. Students had total ownership of this project because it was based on their own analysis of their environment. I think there's an element of ownership when there's a project involved. My kids gave me 110% pretty much every day there, and I don't feel like there were any who just sat off to the side and didn't want anything to do with it. So this was a huge push for 100% engagement, which is something we strive for in education, and you don't see very often unless you put that extra effort in. We actually have plans for the next two or three years of how we're going to take this MeWe project and make other MeWe projects that are a part of this, but then going forward and doing more things to help out the watershed. But the most important thing about that is that the students are going to design their MeWe project and implement it.